Hi everyone, so today I'm going to record my one month postpartum video. It's actually been a little bit more than one month. I'm actually six weeks postpartum since I had Eris, my son. Everything is pretty much checking out okay. I actually had my six weeks postpartum appointment this morning and everything was okay. I actually spent more time waiting for my doctor to come than him actually um, inspecting me. He just uh, came in, asked if I have if I had any questions. Then he um, examined me, make sure my cervix was closed and everything was okay. I weighed in today at 103 and so that's about 10 pounds down from um, my one week postpartum appointment where I was 113. I reached up to 130 with my pregnancy so at 39 weeks I weighed in at 130 and then one week after that I was 113 and today I'm 103 but I'm not too worried about you know the number on the scale at all I'm more um, focused on just how everything looks I'm not at my pre-pregnancy weight yet that doesn't really bother me um, I'm just really excited to go back to the gym and start exercising again and all of that I think the NuVering is the best option for me as far as birth control. That's what I used before I was pregnant and I feel that that's the best option for me right now. It worked well with my body. My body didn't react um, badly to the NuVering. It actually improved my skin tone. Like it cleared up my skin and um, regulated my period. No side effects, headaches or anything, weight gain, none of that. After. I gave birth to my son. I was actually bleeding pretty heavily. It was really scary. Um, I was hemorrhaging and I was just bleeding continuously and um, also large blood clots. I made an emergency appointment when I was one week postpartum um, and my doctor said not, you know, to just come right away and that same day actually my son had his first appointment to his doctor i was lucky that my mom had work off she actually took my son to his appointment while i went upstairs to the sixth floor for my appointment and when i got there um, my doctor checked me and um, he saw a lot of blood clots in my uterus and it was actually very painful because he was like pressing down on it, trying to expel all of the blood clots. And there was even one blood clot where he was trying to get it out and he said, you know, if we can't get this out, I'm going to send you down to the emergency room for a DNC. And that really, really scared me. Uh, luckily, he was able to get that out. He did prescribe me to um, some iron pills. And I don't know what the other one was. It was a a prescription I don't know what the name is but it was supposed to help my uterus to contract and to, to expel the blood clots he did say that I was gonna get crampy and it really sucked because I had to stop breastfeeding for those three days that I was on those meds and um, also while I was on those meds it was as if I was having like a really bad period like I had um, really bad cramps, a bad headache, I was just drowsy and lazy. <sighs> just really tired, so that kind of like really brought my mood down. Um, but everything was okay, I stopped bleeding after I, I took those meds. My son's appointment, he had um, gained weight because at the hospital he was actually dehydrated um, and he had a fever at the hospital and lost 6% of his birth weight and before we got discharged from the hospital we actually had to start supplementing him because he was so dehydrated. He got his uh, hepatitis B shot and he looked a little bit jaundiced. She wanted to um, uh, get some lab work to check his bilirubin levels so after um, two weeks he had a follow-up appointment his um, birth weight was 7.2 
I don't know what it, what he had lost, but at his first appointment he had gained um, all of his weight back up to his birth weight and more. So at his first appointment he weighed at 7.8 I think and he had grown like an inch from 19 inches to 20 inches so I was very happy with that and then as at his follow-up appointment I think he was close to like nine and a half pounds or something crazy like that um, but yeah he grew a lot his bilirubin levels were fine he wasn't jaundiced at all we actually weighed my son um, again when we got home with our own weighing scale and he was 10 pounds and I think that was like a week and a half ago um, so he's growing at a pretty fast rate I think as far as what I see he's actually gotten chubby and um, he's, he's growing pretty fast he eats a lot we actually moved up from newborn diapers up to size 1 he was looking through his newborn diapers and uh, they were getting pretty tight on him and as soon as his um, umbilical cord stuff fell off, we moved to the size 1 diapers immediately and they were fine. I've also had to put away his newborn clothes because they don't fit him anymore. He's a pretty good baby. He doesn't cry without a purpose. He always cries, um, you know, just when he's hungry, if he's wet or dirty or um, if he's gassy. Other than that, he doesn't really cry. Sometimes he'll like cry because he wants to get picked up, but you know, that's okay. He's still a newborn. Like he doesn't, there's no way to spoil a newborn. I do have stretch marks from my pregnancy. I really didn't think I was gonna get stretch marks, but my stretch marks actually um, came in at like 37 and a half weeks. I am using bio oil and I'm using this cream that my cousin had given to me. She said that it'll help with stretch marks and all that. So I've been using that along with the belly bandit and um, you know what the belly bandit is like the best thing ever. I um, put it on, I think it was the first night after I came back from the hospital. It wouldn't even close, like the ends wouldn't even meet. And now I need to actually go down a size, I think it was a small and now I need to get a size extra small so I would recommend the belly band it works wonders it just you know tightens everything back up and it helps with your skin um, so it's not it doesn't sag for some reason it's like the opposite of when I was pregnant when I was pregnant I ate a lot I mean I, I did eat healthy but I ate a lot, like I was always hungry. But right after I had him, I have had no appetite whatsoever. And I only eat when I feel like I need to eat. I don't ever crave anything or I'm not like, oh, I'm hungry. I have asked other uh, moms about it and they say that it's normal. So hopefully everything checks out okay. I'll be sure to be posting more videos and update all of you guys on our progress. I really do try to film as much as possible. It's just a little bit hard because like uh, there'll be times where I just am all set up and everything but then air is super super fussy and I can't get anything done. The laundry piling up and he's hungry or he's fussy he wants to be picked up and I can't really film that way a couple of you guys have been asking um, to see him he's actually in the living room right now sleeping and I don't want to wake him up so I attached a video clip of him earlier when he was wide awake playing in his crib and everything so see you guys all later bye Eris Say hi everybody! Hi! <laughs> he got this um, peekaboo bear from my brother and my sister-in-law and it plays peekaboo with him. But um, he's he's still too young to really understand. Hello, baby. Peek a boo. It's a nice.
funny with you. <laughs> Where did you go? I found you. <laughs> Where am I? Here <laughs> I am. <laughs> Are you playing? Bless you.